Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Yasser Gulfraz, MBA LLM, and uh, I'm your tutor for today's session, which is technology in the tourism and uh, hospitality industry. Uh, Thulani, can you see my screen? Can you hear my voice? Any issue? Yeah. Okay, okay. So everything is okay? Everything is fine? Yeah. Okay, so what about your last lecture? Was it okay, everything? Yeah. Okay. Good. okay, okay, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, so in this lecture, uh, technology in tourism and hospitality industry, uh, we will focus on the perform impact of the internet and social media on marketing, uh, within the tourism and hospitality, uh, sector. Uh, understanding these impact is essential for leveraging digital tools to enhance brand visibility, uh, customer engagement, and overall marketing uh, effectiveness. Uh, the aim of this unit is to equip you with the ability to critically you know, evaluate how the internet and social media have transformed tourism and hospitality marketing. So I hope uh by the end of this session you will be able to understand the role of the internet in uh, uh, uh modern marketing strategy tourism and hospitalities uh and evaluate the influence of social media platform on uh, consumer behavior and marketing practices analyze the benefits and challenges associated with the internet and social media marketing in the tourism and hospitality industry. So any questions so far uh, before I start, uh, go to next page or start any question or any comments or anything in your mind? So what do you think about uh, marketing? Uh, how important is internet in marketing or, you know, Uh, to tourism marketing, international tourism marketing. Uh, internet is important to market tourism and hospitality industry. Uh, yeah, that's uh, is you know that it's a very uh, uh, very important at uh, uh, you know role of internet is very important for uh, um, tourism marketing or in any area of. Uh, you know, uh, our today's life. So internet uh, basically irrecoverably transformed the uh, landscape of international tourism marketing, its ability to connect businesses uh, with the global evidence, or sorry, ideas, facilitates uh, seamless transfer, uh, transactions and provide real time uh, insight has uh, made it in uh, you know in discipline able tool for driving tourism growth. Uh, the internet has revolutionized tourism marketing by enabling extensive marketing uh, sorry market research, fostering customer engagement, enhancing distribution channels, and promoting brands effectively. Uh, in market research, the internet allows tourism marketers to gather uh, comprehensive and up-to-date information and about customer uh, behavior, uh, preferences, and trends. This wealth of information uh, helps businesses tailor their uh, offerings uh, to meet the needs of their targets, audience more precisely. Uh, the internet role in consumer engagement is equally significant. It enables tourism businesses to build strong relationship with the audience uh, through personalized interactions, uh, thereby improving uh, customer loyalty, brand reputation, and overall uh, satisfaction. So, uh, what do you think? How has the internet changed the way tourism businesses gather information about their customer? By social media. Sorry? By social media. Yes, by social media. Yeah, that's it. And websites. Websites, social medias, very powerful tools. 
smartphones, email channels. Sorry. Smartphones. Yes, yeah, smartphones. Yeah, there are many things. Okay. Okay, market research and uh, consumer insights. Uh, the internet has empowered tourism marketers to gather comprehensive and up-to-date information about consumer behavior, preferences, and trends uh, through various digital tools and press, uh, pre uh, platforms. Marketers can conduct online surveys and questionnaire, analyze website traffic and under behavior, uh, uh, monitor social media conversation and utilize data analysis. So these methods offer uh, several benefits. Uh, online marketing research reduce uh, 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 expenses, uh, uh, you know, uh, compared to traditional methods. Uh, the internet provides access to up-to-date information about consumer behavior. This allows marketers to make uh, timely decisions based on uh, uh, correct uh, current trends and preferences. Uh, then global uh, reach, the ability to gather data from device uh, a market enables tourism businesses to understand and uh, cater to international uh, audience effectively. Uh, also, digital uh, tools allows for tailored research to specific target segments, ensuring that the gathering uh, gathered data is relevant and actionable. Any question? Yeah. Okay, can you see my screen here? Why is everything okay? Yeah. Okay, so internet has uh, facilitated unprecedented levels of customer engagement, allowing uh, tourism businesses to uh, uh, build strong relationship with their uh, target audience, key strategies for online customer engagement, include social media marketing, uh, you know, uh, email marketing, content marketing, and online customer reviews. Uh, email marketing, uh, sending, uh, you know, uh, uh, sorry, social media marketing uh, platforms like, uh, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, provide tourism business uh businesses with opportunities to interact with customers share content and promote their you know services uh email marketing uh what do you think about email marketing if when we talk about email marketing sending emails to the target yeah audience. spot on that's correct well done uh Tulani. sending personalized emails to customers can help maintain relationships inform them about promotions and keep them engaged with the a brand uh, then content marketing creating valuable and relevant content uh, such as blog posts videos and info uh, 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 graphics helps attract and retain customers this content can uh, uh, induce entertains and inspire uh, potential travelers enhancing their connections to the brand uh online customer reviews uh encouraging customers to leave review on platform like trip advisors google uh, reviews helps build trust and credibility addressing customer concerns and feedback promptly and quickly can improve brand reputation and customer uh, satisfaction any question yeah uh distribution and sales uh the internet has revolutionized the distribution of tourism produce and uh, products and services providing new channels for uh, reaching customers and uh, increasing sales key benefits of online distribution include online booking platform this platform allows customers to book services at any time from anywhere uh, this 24-7 accessibility enhance uh, convenience and increase the likelihood of bookings. Global reach, the internet enables tourism businesses to reach a global audience, expanding their market and increasing 
potential sale increase uh, sale by providing multiple channels for customer to book services tourism businesses can boost their sales and revenue then cost effective distributions uh, online distribution reduces the uh, need for physical booking of uh, offices and agents lowering operational uh, costs benefit of online distribution also include real time inventory management data driven decisions making and competitive pricing a uh, real time inventory management ensures accurate availability of products and services preventing overbooking and enhancing customer experiences uh, promotion and branding <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the, the, the internet offers a wide range of tools and platform for promoting tourism destinations and businesses. Uh, uh, key uh, promotion, promoting tourism destinations and businesses. Key promotional strategies include uh, search engine optimizations or SEO, uh, uh, pay per click, PPC advertising, online advertising, uh, influencer marketing, and video uh, marketing. Uh, any questions so far, Thorani? No. So benefits of the internet in tourism marketing, any comments, idea, or anything? Um, uh, we can use internet as a marketing tool yes yes that's correct don't don't hesitate that's your right you know many things anyway you know um, you you uh, might look things around you you know that france is hub of tourism i think so uh so uh the internet has significantly enhanced tourism marketing by offering uh, numerous benefits that drive growth and innovation in the industry one of the primary advantages is the ability to reach a wider here if you see wider reach uh reach uh, uh you know wider uh audience the internet allows tourism businesses to attract both domestic and international tourists, uh, which increase tourism expenditure. Uh, the broader reach translates into increased revenue for tourism businesses and contributes to the economic growth of uh, destinations. Another benefit is the effectiveness and effect efficiency of promotion. Uh, the internet provides an alternative to traditional marketing methods, enabling local destinations uh, to compete on a global scale. This democratization of marketing allows uh, a, a smaller destination to level the playing field and fosters innovation in marketing strategies ensuring that even uh, uh, you know less known places can attract uh, visitors uh, also uh, important information source and sales channel uh, it 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 empowers customer to uh, re research reviews and compare travel op options uh, conveniently uh, so uh, the accessibility leads to more informed decision making uh, for tourism and increased transparency for businesses, which uh, enhance uh, trust and customer satisfactions. Uh, enhanced competitiveness and uh, sustainability are additional benefit uh, uh, brought about and uh, by digitalizations and technological uh, advancements. These developments contribute to a more competitive and sustainable tourism industry, promoting economic development, social inclusion, and environmental uh, protections through responsible tourism uh, practices. 
then finally internet uh, streamlines businesses operations by improving efficiency in sales uh, procurement customer contract and marketing uh, activities so this increased uh, efficiency reduced cost and save time for tourism businesses leading to uh, improved profitability any questions so far yeah. okay uh applications of internet in uh, tourism uh the internet applications in tourism extend to various aspects uh facility facilitating smoother and more uh, personalized travel experience are one key area in customizations based on local area tourism businesses can tailor their services and uh, recommendations to the specific preferences and need of travel based on their uh, local locations. Uh, this personalized, personalized approach enhances business satisfaction and loyalty. Smooth travel is another benefit of internet applications in tourism. Online platform and mobile applications provide real-time information on flights, accommodations, and local attractions helping travelers uh, plan and navigate their uh, trips more uh, efficiently. Uh, this convenience reduces travel-related stress and enhances the overall travel experience. Uh, applications of the internet in tourism also include maintenance and uh, repairs where technology help ensure and upkeep of tourism uh, infrastructure and facilities. Smart energy saving uh, solutions contribute to sustainability efforts by reducing energy consumptions in hotels and other tourism related establishments. Uh, facilitating parking information through online tools, helping travelers find available parking spaces, improving their convenience and reduce congestion in popular uh, tourist uh, 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 areas. Any question, uh, Talani? Yeah. yeah, I just uh, give link for you. You know that uh, this is a YouTube link. So uh, you can watch and uh, is discussing about uh, or AI is revolutionizing the hospitality industry. So uh, basically, this is uh, as you can see, title revolutionizing the hospitality industry. Uh, this providing insight into how artificial intelligent uh, intelligence is transforming a uh, various aspect of the hospitality sectors. Uh, the video explores the uh, entry uh, integration of uh, AI technologies and customer services operations and marketing highlighting uh, the efficiency and personalizations benefit uh, AI brings to the industry. Uh, the internet has fundamentally you know transformed uh, international tourism marketing providing unprecedented uh, opportunities for growth and success uh, by effectively uh, leveraging online tools and platforms uh, tourism uh, businesses can gain a competitive advantage, building strong customer relationships and drive sustainable tourism development. So the ability to reach a wi wider audience, promote uh, efficiently, provide valuable information, enhance competitiveness and streamline operations underscores the significant impact of the internet on tourism marketing 
Uh, these uh, advancements not only benefit businesses, but also contribute to the overall development and sustainability of the uh, tourism industry. Any question, Tulani? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see my screen, voice, everything okay? Yeah. Okay, so uh, impact or evaluate the impact of social media on destinations uh, marketing. Destination marketing is a critical aspect of the tourism industry, focusing on promoting a location uh, uh, to potential uh, travelers. Social media has significantly transformed the field, offering new opportunities and challenges for marketers. Traditionally, destination, destination marketing uh, uh, relied on media such as print advancements, television, commercials, and brochures. Uh, however, the rise of digital media, particularly social media, has revolutionized how uh, destinations are marketed. Social media platforms enable real-time interactions, allowing tourism businesses to engage with their uh, audience instantly. Uh, User-generated content such as uh, photos, videos, and reviews provide uh, uh, authentic and uh, reliable insights into destinations, encouraging potential travelers to visit. Uh, targeted uh, advertising on social media allows marketers to reach specific demographic and uh, internets, marketing uh, promotional efforts more effective and efficient. So the impact of social media on destination marketing is uh, profound. It increased increases brand aware awareness by uh, reaching a wider audience uh, through various online channels, improved websites traffic is another benefit as targeted campaigns drive more visitors to the uh, destination's website. Uh, higher conversation uh, conversion rates result from effective uh, promotion uh, generating uh, leads and booking enhanced brand image is achieved by creating a strong and consistent online uh, presence, making the destination more uh, appealing and uh, trustworthy to potential uh, uh, tourists. Role of social media in destination uh, uh, marketing, uh, social media platform, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok have become, you know, important tools in destination marketing. Uh, Facebook, if we talk about Facebook, is uh, very much beneficial for de uh, detailed uh, uh, targeting and community building. Marketers can uh, create group where people with similar travel interests can uh, connect and share experiences. Uh, also, Facebook support long uh, uh, form content, uh, making it ideal for detailed travel, uh, travel uh, guidance and stories. Uh, Instagram is uh, centered on uh, visual storyline storytelling. This platform is perfect for sharing uh, photos and videos. Uh, that highlights the uh, beauty and uh, attraction of a destination. Features like stories and real uh, reels allows for uh, you know short engaging content that can quickly capture the audience attractions. Twitter uh, excel in uh, you know real time uh, 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 updates and engagement. It is ideal for sharing news, quick updates, and interacting with pot uh, potential travelers. Uh, TikTok uh, focused on short form videos content, which is especially uh, you know, popular among younger audience. So this platform is excellent for uh, creative and viral uh, marketing uh, campaigns that can quickly uh, spread the generate interest in a destination. So I think, so what do you think about all of them? I think Instagram and TikToks are more effective because uh, whenever I, you know, that uh, click on TikTok, when I uh, visit TikTok, 
uh, you see that many people uh, uh, using for their uh, making videos for food and tourism tourism uh, tourist destinations have you seen that so yeah. that i think so instagram and tiktoks are more effective uh, for uh, destination marketing or you know tourist industry So what do you think that how uh, TikTok or Instagram, any anyone be more effective than uh, Facebook for visually appealing destination marketing? What? what, uh, what? Because, uh, because TikTok has short videos. So people more intend to look uh, short videos. Yeah, TikTok has short videos. That's right, and also, uh, uh, I I I think so that more people using TikTok than Facebook nowadays. Okay. Yeah. New generation. Yeah, new generation. So, impact on uh, consumer behavior. Uh, social media has a significant impact on consumer behavior, especially in the tourism industry. Uh, tra travelers are increasingly using social media for travel inspiration, planning, and decision making. Uh, one key impact is increased awareness. Uh, social media campaign, uh, you know, uh, can reach a vast audience, making it easier to raise awareness about less known travel destination. This can lead to increase the interest and uh, visit to uh, these pl places. Then user generated content uh, uh, such as travel photos, reviews, and recommendations plays an import, uh, you know, important role in uh, in influencing potential travelers. These authenticated endorsements often carry more weight than uh, traditional advertisements as they come from real people sharing their experiences. Then real time engagement uh, social media is uh, you know on the social media real time engagement is another significant impact uh, social media allows immediate interactions with uh, potential uh, tourists enabling marketers to address their queries and concerns uh, quickly so this instant communication can enhance the overall experience and satisfaction of uh, potential uh, travelers Trends in social media and destination marketing. Uh, several trends highlight the uh, uh, growing importance of social media in destination marketing. So according to the Digital 2022 uh, uh, Global Overview Report uh, by we are social media hosts suite, over 4.62 billion people worldwide use social media represents more than 58% of the global population. Uh, this wider spread use makes social media a powerful tool for uh, reaching potential travelers. Uh, a report by uh, uh, Focusrite in indicates that 87% of travelers uh, use social media for uh, travel inspiration Further, uh, you know, more 52 of the uh, these travelers say the phone uh, photos of destinations shared by friends and family influence their travel plans. Uh, this demonstrates the importance of visual content and peer recommendation in travel decision making. Uh, visit uh, uh, Scotland. Have you ever traveled Scotland? Okay, mm. have you ever came to UK? No. Okay, okay. So better, well, France, I, I think so France is uh, beautiful as well. I don't know. Yeah. But, but, but uh, you know, that it, it, it's, it's a different interest. Some people like, uh, like I like countryside. I like hills, you know, greenery or stuff. I don't like city life, you know. So I think so France is more, more city life than uh, countryside and like uh, if you talk about greenery, countryside, hills, or natural beauty, basically, 
it's uh, Scotland, uh, sorry, Scotland or Switzerland uh, are better places. Am I right? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, the, because France is more about hotels and uh, like a, uh, uh, which tower is it? Famous tower? Eiffel Tower. Yeah, Eiffel Tower and uh, Disneyland, stuff like that. You know, that uh, basic, these kind of uh, things are, uh, you know, uh, France is famous for these kind of uh, things. Yeah, I think it's because France promote Paris and Paris is like a yeah. more of a city. That's, like that's, a... that's Solani is a one thing that France is, uh, I've noticed that whenever you see any advertisement or any uh, any leaflet or, I mean that uh, in term of tourist tourism, when whenever you try to uh, you are thinking to visit France or you look at any advertisement or anything else, they always talk about Paris, uh, Paris okay? Yeah. I mean, that, uh, I don't know many cities about uh, France because I always think of France. Paris is a, a you know, very uh, good place to visit. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you kind know, of, that, but it's, uh, sorry? It depends on the, depend depend on the people like yeah, if yeah. you like to go some city vibe you want then i think but, paris. yeah so, you're right but i mean that most of people are talking about paris you know that families goes to disneyland or uh, uh, like couples or other people always talk about eiffel tower tower or otherwise people go from here to France for a job as well. I, I I think so people coming from France as well. You know that there is a train between France and uh, uh, UK? Uh, yeah. London? I they, heard. Yeah, yeah. So underground, you know, uh, under the sea, going under the sea. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting anyway. So visit whenever you get chance. <laughs> I hope to. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So visit uh, Scotland uh, effectively uh, use Instagram to showcase Scotland. Since see that I was talking about you know landscape, so people are talking about sceneries, landscape, and cultural heritage. So this uh, strategy has resulted in increased tourist industry interest, interest and visit, highlighting the power of social media and destination promotion. Then Australia tourism campaign uh, provides another example, uh, tourism, Australia's Dundee, uh, the son of a legend uh, uh, returns home campaign launched during the uh, square ball successfully integrated social media to create excitement. This campaign led to a significant increase in tourism inquiries and bookings uh, demonstrating the effectiveness of combining uh, traditional and digital marketing strategies. So I think so that uh, you got French, uh, how it works, French nationality or stuff like that, when you visit, you are planning to visit uh, uh, other countries. You got uh, uh, French nationality or you are just uh, citizen? It, uh, it's a visa, I think. If you have a visa, it's okay. Okay, so still, you know that like uh, uh, we can get, uh, uh, I was just, uh, uh, my brother just got Shenzhen visa, it is called. So it's, called, yeah, it, it cost only uh, 12 pound from here, you know, just 12 oh. pound. So I think so there wasn't visa before, uh, you know, uh, uh, Brexit, but it, now uh, they need a visa, but it's not a very uh, uh, difficult process to get. Uh, they just quickly... Uh, you know, uh, within I think so, uh, three four days, and it's it cost only twelve pound. So I think so. It, it will be a same for France as well. So I think yeah. So so I uh, another thing is uh, Paris or France is famous for hotel, you know. So mm -hmm. Eiffel Tower hotel industry and obviously perfume industries. There are a few things are you know, uh, France is famous for. So also when we talk about tourism, uh, well, we are talk, uh, we are studying, uh, our topic is marketing, but do you know that 
Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Sharjah is a hub of tourism industry. Yeah. Yeah. So even if you go to uh, when you will ho hopefully you will start a ticketing business. So you will see that uh, uh, every year millions of million people, you know, goes to Dubai as well nowadays. Even people go there for a job. But by 20, uh, you know, by 2030, uh, they are uh, they are planning to build more about uh, two to three hundred uh, hotels in Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, Dubai means UAE. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, challenges. Any any comments on this? No. Uh, despite its many benefits, social media marketing also presents several challenges for destination marketers. Content saturation is a significant issue with the vast amount of content available in social media. It can be difficult for marketers to make the destination stand. Uh, out the requires creativity and innovation to capture and uh, retain the audience at attention. Do you think that sometimes social media used for lies? I mean that yeah. if they show different videos and like let's say uh, uh, a company is in, uh, uh, for example, it's in it's in India or anywhere, and they are showing, they are asking, they they are advertise for a visit uh, like. Uh, any city or uh, any specific place, but when they do advertise in their advertisement, they shows some Europeans, uh, you know, might be French, American, or British buildings and countryside. Is it uh, right? Have you yeah. ever noticed that if, if any country, I mean, that they do things like that as well? So managing uh, negative feedback, another challenge, negative reviews or feedback can quickly spread on social media, potentially uh, harming destinations, reputations, marketers must be proactive uh, in addressing uh, concerns and resolving issues to maintain a positive image. Uh, measuring return on investment uh, or, or ROI, uh, 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 quantifying the return on investment from social media marketing uh, efforts can be complex, requiring sophisticated analysis tools. Uh, well, this can involves considerable time and resources, making it a challenging aspect of social media uh, marketing. Strategies of effective uh, social media uh, marketing. <clears throat> Uh, social media uh, marketing requires well-planned strategies to be effective. Four key strategies include targeted advertising, influencer partnership, engaging content creation and monitoring and anal analytics. Uh, targeted uh, Advertising, uh, utilizing the advanced targeting features of social media platform to reach specific demographic and interest. Influencer uh, partnership involves co collaborating the uh, social media influencers who have a significant uh, following. They, these influencers can authentically uh, promote a destination by sharing their experience with their audience. Engaging content creations uh creating high quality visually appealing uh, content that uh, uh, uh resonates with the audience and encourages uh sharing then monitoring and analytics regularly tracking social media metrics to assess the effectiveness of campaigns and make data driven decision uh, uh this basically data driven uh, approach allows for uh, adjustments and improvements based on real time uh, feedback uh, sustainability and uh, ethical marketing uh, as awareness of environmental issues grows destinations marketing increasingly focuses on sustainability and uh, ethical practices Social media plays a significant role in promoting sustainable tourism practices by highlighting co-friendly options and 
uh, encouraging re responsible travel behavior. Uh, social media campaigns are designed to showcase destinations that emphasize environmental conversation and uh, sustainability. Uh, environmental and social initiative of a destination helps build uh, trust with potential travelers. Uh, this approach not only appeals to echo conscious travelers, but also uh, contribute to the overall positive image of uh, destination. Conclusion here, uh, social media has uh, fundamentally changed destinations marketing, offering new and innovative ways to connect with potential travelers and influence their travel destinations. By leveraging the unique uh, features of social media platform marketers and enhance their strategies, overcome challenges and achieve their uh, marketing goals. The continuous evolution of uh, social media technologies and trends presents opportunities for uh, further advancement in uh, destinations marketing Staying up to date with these challenges allows marketers to adopt their strategies and maintain uh, relevance in a dynamic uh, uh, field. OTAs evaluate the relationship between online travel agencies and uh, other uh, others. So this is your topic, okay, Talani? So online travel agents have transformed the travel industry by acting intermediaries between travelers and various traveler suppliers, including hotel, airlines, car rental companies, and tour operators. OTAs provide a, a environment platform for tra travelers to book their travel uh, arrangements, offering a wide range of options and uh, comparisons. OTAs offer significant benefits of consumers, such as case of booking and access to our drivers' travel options. Their relationships with the other industries play, uh, players is a complex. OTAs often uh, negotiate commission and you know, partnership with travel suppliers, which can impact pricing and availability. Uh, this dynamic uh, you know, the dynamic create a multi-faceted uh, relationship that uh, affects both the travel suppliers and uh, consumers. Any questions so far? Yeah. Relationship between OT and traveler suppliers, benefits, changes, opportunities. When we talk about benefits, OTAs offers travel suppliers interested uh, increased visibility and uh, access to a broader customer base. By listing their services on OTA platform, suppliers can reach a larger audience than they might uh, uh, through their own direct channels. Uh, challenges, uh, however, there are also significant challenges. OTA typically charge commission fees with can reduce the profit margins for travel suppliers. Moreover, suppliers may lose control over uh, customer data as the information is often managed by the OTAs. Uh, rate uh, 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 parity agreement which requires uh, suppliers to maintain consistent pricing across all distribution channels can limit suppliers' flexibility in offering uh, uh, special uh, rates or promotions directly. Uh, opportunities, despite uh, these challenges, there are opportunities for collaboration, strategies, partnership between OTAs and suppliers can lead to mutual benefits such as data sharing for more effective targeted marketing and the uh, creation of value added services uh, in, uh, that enhance customer satisfactions. For travel suppliers, direct booking initiatives and loyalty programs can help reduce depend, uh, dependence on OTAs and 
retain customer by offering a personalized experience and uh, incentives. So this is your homework because this is your uh, your topic, okay? Uh, right. Here is a question for you. It's easy. I will, uh, you know, won't give you a difficult question. So the question is, what is uh, one uh, benefit? But uh, uh, answer me tomorrow, not today, okay? That uh, OTA uh, OTAs provide uh, to uh, traveler travel suppliers. Okay, Zulani. Okay. Not difficult, huh? Is it okay or not? Yeah. It's a very easy question for your, you know that. Uh, just tell me tomorrow what is one benefit that OTAs provide to travel uh, suppliers. So next is uh, sorry. Again, here benefit uh, relationship between uh, <laughs> sorry again OTAs and uh, uh, relationship between OTAs and uh, consumers. Yeah, so uh, the competitive landscape. Uh, uh, you know, uh, sorry, the relationship between OTAs and consumer is characterized by various benefit challenges and opportunities that affect both parties. Uh, for con uh, for uh, if we talk about benefits for consumers, OTAs provide a convenient booking process, allowing for every uh, comparison and uh, reservation re uh, uh, reservations for a wide selection. Uh, by uh, selection of travel options, the competitive prices offered by uh, OTA uh, make it uh, possible for travelers to find deals that suit their budget. Uh, additionally, OTAs gather valuable data that can be used to enhance the uh, customer experience through personalized recommendations and tailored offer. Uh, then we talk about challenges price comparison, uh, websites, consumer uh, reviews, priorities, and uh, concerns. For customers, hidden fee, misleading information, customer services issues, opportunities, uh, personalized recommendations, loyalty program, enhanced customer experiences, or consumers exclusive debt, or sorry, deals, bundles, packages, mobile optimizations. So uh, competition uh, uh, relationship has much challenges and, uh, uh, you know, uh, opportunities. Uh, OTAs often face price wares and market share uh, er erosion as they compete with each other for consume, uh, customers. These competitive uh, pressures can lead to increased cost for acquiring uh, customers and can impact profitability uh, differentiating their brands and maintaining a competitive edge through technological advancement are key challenges challenges in this dynamic environment. Uh, opportunities, when we talk about opportunities uh, to address these challenges, OTAs can explore strategic alliance, mergers and acquisition to strengthen their market position focusing on need uh, market and in uh, innovating their product offering can help 
uh, differentiate them from competition uh, co competitors. Also, investing in customer loyalty program and expanding into new geographic regions can provide competitive uh, advantages. Uh, relationship between OTAs and uh, technology, uh, they both play a critical role in the operations and success. Uh, OT benefits for OTAs and technology improved effectively, efficiently data-driven decision-making competitive advantage, uh, challenges, cyber security, risk, data, privacy concern, technology, obsolescence, uh, virtual and augmented uh, uh, reality, voice search, blockchain, uh, technology, personalized recommendations, dynamic pricing, uh, uh, fraud prevention, rapid technological advancement, high investment cost, innovative customer experiences, supply chain op uh, uh, optimizations, trust and transparency. So basically, uh, in, in terms of opportunity, there are significant opportunities in leveraging emerging technologies such as uh, uh, virtual and augmented reality, voice search, blockchain. So these technologies can enhance customer experiences, uh, 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 optimize supply chain and provide greater transparency and trust in, uh, 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 in transactions, okay? So that's it, uh, uh, Tulani. Here some uh, questions to prepare for answer in start of next session. So you can look at these questions as well. Okay. okay. I will ask. Uh, wouldn't ask every single question, but I can ask anyone and. Uh, uh, it's not like exam or don't get, you know, that just a normal discussion, you know that. Okay. You might know many things, whatever you had. So there is a question as well. One benefit uh, 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 OTAs provide to traveler suppliers. So here are some references, some uh, websites uh, for further reading. Uh, and also you can get books on your Moodle and uh, learning platform. Uh, Tulani, I have a question for you. Uh, have you yeah. got the uh, assignment brief with you? Um, let me check. Just if you can quickly check for me, I know it's... Uh... Yeah. Okay, can you uh, email me or can you uh, WhatsApp me if you have my uh, contact or if you know the group or whatever? I think so last mm -hmm. time, or you just email me or whatever, you know then. Okay, I'll email. Uh, here, wait. Uh, just... Uh, here, okay. Can you see my message uh, uh, here? Or if, if you can WhatsApp, wherever, whatever is uh, convenient for you, just uh, email me your uh, brief, okay? Yeah, I got it. Uh, here, uh, WhatsApp or wh whatever is convenient for you, okay? Okay, Thulani, okay. thank you very much for today's session and uh, have a good evening ahead and uh, good weekend for you. Have a good weekend and I'll see you tomorrow at uh, five o'clock, okay? Thank you very Thank much. You. Don't forget to email me or uh, WhatsApp your uh, brief as well. Okay. So by <laughs> tomorrow, or uh, if you have any question in your mind, you can drop me an email at uh, yasir at uk. Thanks. Thank you very much, Tulani. Thank have a good you. Good evening. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.